how are you today? Everything fine on this end. Give you a rundown of the last 15 days, I think. Um, it takes a little bit of doing to get this all together and think about this. And we're really glad uh, we put these on audio on a daily basis, right? We just record what we're doing pretty much every day. And uh, here's just a few things every day. Um, they had a motorcycle event here, a giant um, park nearby had a motorcycle event for Honda and uh, we had our our breakfast and then we went to uh, give them the gospel and we surrounded the place kind of we used the hindrances uh, chart where a man is holding down the head of a man and uh, and I had also a chain door where the uh, lock was there but I said you're holding yourself down. You're chaining your own door. You got your own key. The Bible says, Whosoever will, let him take of the water of life freely. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And so we did all that area. And then the crowd seemed to be a little bit, you know, dead. And so we moved on and we went to the upstairs area of the mall which has a giant kind of like area that's open and they have a big sound system blasting this rock and roll music so I saw the lady was turning it down and doing something with it and so I said just a few minutes for an announcement and we did the same thing there with the golden calf chart the golden calf chart talks about um, the Pacific Islands has a particular sin that you don't touch around here you just leave it alone it's their secret sexual life um, we ate lunch there in their uh, common area on the 27th of October we had a deposit and so things are getting I don't know our apartment complex a little bit um, we had uh, we had a rat and so we checked into a hotel for a couple of days to get over this big old rat that was annihilated in our front door there. And I'm just giving you just a... So we turned that thing into an inner city uh, three-day revival. And uh, they only charge you like, what is it, per day? Six dollars per day. And uh, you can buy a rice there for... Um, like 16 cents for the rice so it's it's a cheap place to be um, and they do have a non aircon room so we just use electric fan and so we turned it into a three day outreach into the inner city but a lot happened a lot happened while we were there listen to this um, on the way there we dropped off our laundry and dropped off uh, uh, things that needed to be repaired and we gave the gospel there as we purchased uh, some burgers on the street they have these little street stands where you can uh, buy one and get one free and so we bought uh, some burgers and while we were there just sitting waiting for the burgers we turned it into a little outreach there and a uh, massive amount of people going back and forth and so we preached on the hindrances again the same track and um, we use John 3.16 and John 14.6 a lot and tell them to read the book of John but don't wait because hell is real and uh, get things right with the Lord right away and um, while we're at that hotel some guys didn't like our uh, gospelizing so they hacked into our computer little did we know they can see you know when you're online there and they got into our account our account and so that's okay uh, a couple of days later uh, we we're down around the Ishmaelites again and um, we saw a lot of people carrying testaments and Bibles and uh, they seemed to be dressed correctly and uh, we gave them uh, uh, gospel out there 